Friday Morning Conversation with Vice Admiral Dr. Jerome Adams. On the phone now, Surgeon General of the United States. All right, Dr. Adams, we want to talk to you about the coronavirus and get an in-depth explanation of what's actually going on from you rather than what we keep hearing on all the websites, all the media. What I want to know first is what are the things that Americans should and shouldn't do to protect themselves? Well, uh, number one, we know that the coronavirus it comes from a, uh, a family of viruses that also cause the common cold, cause MERS, cause SARS. Um, they're respiratory viruses. They're spread person to person. And for respiratory viruses, we know that washing your hands frequently is the most important thing you can do to protect yourself from disease. We also tell folks to cover your cough when you sneeze, uh, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, and we tell people to stay away from people, uh, other people who are sick. Those are important ways, in addition to cleaning surfaces frequently, that will help prevent the spread of person-to-person diseases like the coronavirus. One thing that does not work uh, for the general public is actually wearing a mask. And it's important for folks to know that there are two different kinds of masks that that they will commonly see. The surgical masks are designed to actually protect other people from you. And they're designed so that when you cough or sneeze, it catches the majority of, of your, uh, your respiratory droplets, but it, it does not protect you from other people because it is not tightly sealed. The N95 mask, which looks like a cone on people's faces, is designed to be worn by healthcare providers and also in the industrial world. And when we wear those, we actually have to be specially fit tested. Otherwise, uh, they don't protect you from diseases like the coronavirus, and they may actually increase your risk because you're more likely to touch your face and adjust it and, again, have that that contact uh, from table to hand to your face uh, when when you're messing with it. The the final thing for folks to know is that when they hoard masks, they're not available for healthcare workers. And right now, it's really important for healthcare workers to have those so they can protect, uh, take care of people who are really sick. Because if the healthcare workers get sick, then we won't have people to uh, take care of us if and when we do get sick. Now, when it comes to travel, what's your advice for people who need to travel for work? Well, uh, the same advice I would give them in a bad flu season. Make sure you're washing your hands frequently. Uh, make sure you're trying to keep distance at least six feet from people who appear to be sick, who are coughing, um, who are sneezing. And uh, one of the things that I do is I, I do wipe down the tray tables, the armrest when I get on a plane with an antibacterial wipe just in case uh, there is a virus of any kind, flu, coronavirus, cold, uh, that's been left there by someone else who, who's been there before. So take normal respiratory precautions, uh, the same as we do for any flu season. On the phone right now is Dr. Jerome Adams, Surgeon General of the United States. All right, what about hand sanitizer? Does hand sanitizer help prevent the spread of the virus? Uh, Hand sanitizer is an alternative to washing your hands. Nothing is as good as good old-fashioned hand washing, but if you don't have it, then in a pinch, we would say to use hand sanitizer. The same rules apply uh, for hand sanitizer as for washing your hands. Make sure you rub it in well, that you get it on both sides of your hand, and that you get it in between your fingers and under your fingernails. So where are we at with developing a vaccine for the coronavirus? Uh, It's important for folks to know that we are working on vaccines. Uh, We are also working on therapeutics for the coronavirus. We do not expect a vaccine to be available for at least 12 months. Uh, No matter how quickly we develop it, we still have to do safety testing to make sure it doesn't actually harm people. And then we have to do broader efficacy studies to make sure it works in all different populations. So we wouldn't expect a vaccine until next season. Uh, But when you look at H1N1, when you look at past flu outbreaks, when you look at MERS and SARS, the thing that helped us stop the spread of these diseases actually wasn't a vaccine in in the first go round. It was actually uh, good old fashioned public health measures. Again, hand washing, keeping your distance from people who were sick, covering your cough when you sneeze. And I think it's uh, important for the public to know we will see more cases. Uh, We're seeing more community spread, especially with uh, not just cases coming from China, but cases coming from all over Europe. And uh, that's not unexpected, but most people will have a mild illness like a cold or, or, or or a mild version of the flu. And the people who are most at risk, if we take precautions now to make sure they're prepared and protect themselves, then I have every confidence that we will get through this successfully with minimal harm to the American people. Dr. Jerome Adams, the 20th Surgeon General of the United States, 
Appreciate your time. Absolutely. And for more information, I encourage folks to go to CDC.gov or coronavirus.gov. There are both updates um, daily and also audience-specific recommendations for schools, for churches, for businesses, and also for people who may be at risk. Perfect. That's CDC.gov. And you're also on Twitter at Surgeon underscore General. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.